John from MJC Designs. Welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do a landscape in ArchiCAD using uh, an Archi uh, AutoCAD file. But before I proceed, if you're new here, you can just subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification button so you don't miss videos whenever I post. Now let's get started. So we use, we're going to use Mesh. Go to the tool, select Mesh and then you select the first one and then you select the level you put the level and here we go so um this uh, drawing has been done in autocad before so it was given to me to, to model so i'm going to trace everything all the line the outlines with the with the mesh the reason I'm using mesh will be explained later. Uh, for those that would like to draw this directly from Archicad, you can easily use lines to be able to get it out. It's 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 easier to use lines so that when you're you working with something like this, it will be easier to you know, trace it out and all that. So I would advise you to use line to draw it out before you commence something like this. It's, it makes it easier to get it done. So what we just finished was um, tracing, tracing it and tracing it like the um, horizontally and then vertically, diagonally. So later we are now adding the curves by using the arc. And the menu displayed for us. So as you can see, the process is just straightforward and very simple. So I'm just trying to fast forward it since you, it's, it's all the same thing. We no need wasting our time because it's, it's a long video and I tried as much as possible to reduce it. So you can always reduce the um, playback option. So let's see what we have in our 3D. So um, this is one of the reasons I like using mesh. You can easily edit the height of this and just drag it up like so. Imagine if you use slab. I don't think you can do slab. You can slab slab behaves like this. So these tools, the, the, the choice of these tools depends on what you want to do. So we're just going to select the edge and then you know activate that and drag it up. Just like that. So this is easier, it's easily done with a mesh. And hence that was the, one of the reasons I used mesh for this purpose. So we are going to go about trying to you know create the last the green areas with a mesh also and change the grass. This is, the fast, this is going to be like the fastest way to create something like this because what uh, we're going to do here now is uh, we're going to use the magic one tool method, right? That's holding down your space bar. Make sure the mesh is activated. Hold down your space bar and then you click. Okay? Make sure, it, for example, like I told you, I said it, it's important to draw it with a line. Okay, before you start these um, this, uh, operations. So when you draw it with a line, as far as the lines are closed, okay, when you use the hold, holding down your space bar and then making sure that your, whatever tools you're using to, to, to fill the space is selected and then you click, then it, 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 you, don't need, you don't need to trace you don't need to trace the, these um, shapes again. You just use the fill um, the space and then fill um, function, just like so. Okay, so hold down your space bar and then you click. 
Hold on your space bar. It will, it will, it will. No, just look at that. Hold on your space bar and click. And that's it. Looks like magic. Like I just did magic, but it's not magic. If you've been following um, some of our videos, you'd you'd um, notice that I've actually done these operations before, like holding down your space bar, holding down, uh, making sure that you activate the tool you want to use to cover that space, and then you click, and that's it. You don't need to start tracing this thing one by one and all that, so it makes it easier. This is like how to work in a faster way. That's why sometimes you see two people working the same thing, and before you know it, the other person is done. So you're just knowing how to navigate some of these um, things. So what we're doing right now is we're trying to create the walkway. We are going to use slab for this purpose. Uh, we, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are just going to use slab for the purpose. We want to give it some thickness. We can also use mesh if we want. But I just, I just felt like let me try something else. Let me use uh, slab. So that's it. I didn't use this, um, the holding down the space bar for this purpose because I felt like the, 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 this does not really have a closed line. Understand? So there's no need to waste my time. I just have to trace. It's not much. I just have to trace it. Okay, so we notice some of this. Uh, what we're doing is actually on quite fast. That's because we don't want to bore you with the same thing. The most important thing is knowing what to do and how to do it. Then we speed up the video because it's practically the same thing. There's nothing different from what you are doing from the first, uh, you know. So we just speed up the video so we don't waste a lot of your time or your, your data. So we just want to show you little little um, tricks to on how to create landscape like that. For instance, we just use this space holding down the space bar method, just like that. So we are, just, we are going to uh, mirror a copy of the walkway because I think we have a similar copy on the right hand side. So we just did that right now and we just did that right now and we're just going to align it with the one on the right hand side and you know uh, make sure it corresponds with what we have the work parts we have on the right hand side by just uh, you know dragging some of the nodes and making sure to correct it so pay attention to what we have we are doing on the screen uh, the operation we are selecting to get things done on the dialog box This is a drawing given to me that this is the drawing that was drawn on in uh, Archicad. I was still to visualize it. It's basically a simple drawing, no, you know, nothing really, no complicated designs on all that. So it was just basically something very, very simple. 
which I sh chose to show you guys how I came, uh, how I drew the landscape for the purpose of those that doesn't really know how to go about it, especially for beginners. Though, so this is this uh, tutorial is for benefit. So we want to trace the outlines of the shape we just did. We want to create a curve along this thing we just did. So what we're going to do is copy the shape out because it's going to be a stressful work trying to trace these lines, the curve. Okay, so what we did, copy it out and we still use that operation again. The holding down your space bar and then clicking that shape. So it is going to trace everything, everything that is connected to that shape. Okay, as you can see, just trace the left hand side and the other side. And then the right hand side has its own, has its existing on its own. So we're just going to trace it, holding down your space bar and then clicking. Make sure, note that uh, the, the curves, we just, you know, picked the materials. We have the curves already that have been stored in our complex profile. Okay, so we just pick the material and that's how we got the caps. Okay, just in case you're wondering, I've taught, I've taught you how to do complex profile in one of my videos. Check, check my videos, you see, just go to my Akikad uh, playlist. You see a lot of helpful videos for you, you know, that will improve your Akikad skills. So we are taking back these uh, caps back to the rightful position. Okay, taking it back to the rightful position, and that is it. So that was quick, that was fast, and this is how to do a fast job, like fast, a fast, you don't have to trace them one by one. This is how to do a fast, fast, fast job. Okay, you get a big job done within a split second, you're done. So, all we need to do is just you know tidy up one or two things on the on the scene tidy up the some of the places that we didn't touch so like some of the places that we need caves and we don't have caves yet so we just have to you know select that and you know, you know place that using the same method the space bar method okay it's going to just take the shape of whatever you're clicking that's holding down your space bar make sure that the tools is uh, like the tools we're using now is a complex profile but it is wall okay so we make sure it is selected and we just click the shape So this is how to, you know, create some, this is how to work very fast. This is how to just speed up the rate at which you work. You don't need to trace them. You don't need to trace everything one by one. This is just how to quickly do your job and get over it. Get over it in no time. If you want to reduce the speed of this video, you just have to just reduce the playback here um, on your YouTube. Okay, it, it's it just go to the option reduce playback speed. Okay, so I just I had to increase this playback speed because the video was quite long, and I didn't want it to be close to twenty minutes or thirty minutes. So it's important. It's not. It's not. It's not a difficult. It's not a very difficult um, operation we are doing here. It's just it's very simple stuff. So there's no need to make it too long. So you just all you need to do is reduce the playback, and you're good to enjoy your video. So we are close to the end of this video, and you can see how fast we came up with everything as big as this. 
didn't take us time. So thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.